today, which is an intensive discussion for your pursuit of examination. So today's topics will concentrate on a, a very good topic called income effect. So write it. When I'm talking, I have to write something. And at the end of a session, I will provide you this document for you to review and solve some of the key issues. So we need to see the income effect. This is a directives. What is income so far? When I say income, what do you understand? Yes, tell me. When I talk of income, what do you feel? Yes, my friend. Yes, Adija. Nikisema income, kuna fikiria nini? Eh? Eh? Nipato. Wewe? Revenue. Eh? Revenue. Revenue. When I say income, we want to say my revenue, we want to say my part. Sasa, lazima mwe na kitu kimoje cha kuelewa. Yani usi, unapotaka kufanikisha jambo, lazima uju na chukifanya, ni nini. Neno income, kwa ufupi, ukenda kwenye standard. Ukenda kwenye standard. Wakisema income, kwenye standard, kwa mana ya, standard accounting when somebody says income it is described in three number one it could be gain number two it could be revenue am i clear this is according to the concept of framework and now we're talking about accounting so somebody saying income this is that work in taxation we have other meaning but in B5, in costing, the term income is a different between inflow and outflow. I repeat. In costing, in costing, when I say income, we are talking of the so-called sales revenue. So I'm writing here, sales, revenue, what you are correcting, and the, the cost of what? Of sales. So the difference is what? Income. So I have to make it clear to you. So income is a different between revenue, what you are collecting, and what? The cost of sale. Now, what is the cost of sale so far? What is the cost of sale? I want also to make it clear. You know the cost of sales? Yes? Do you know the cost of sales? So let's say something here. Let's talk of. Yes? Production plus. Cost of production plus. So you listen to the video, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Let's see. So let's see if revenue, sales. How do you get the sales revenue? This one. It's what we are selling. What we are selling times selling price. So it is quantity sold times what? Selling price. So when I say quantity sold, number of units sold, that is a quantity sold. Now what is a cost of sale? Cost of sales, cost of good 
they start with cost cost of goods sold the cost of goods sold this is the value the value of goods which has been sold this is the value of goods which has been sent to customer the value of goods which has been sent to where a customer now what is a cost of sale what is a cost of sales a cost of sales this is the cost of goods sold plus selling cost so cost of goods sold plus what selling cost or what selling cost is the cost to make a sale now still i'm going do you get me mnanipata sasa nikiongea hivyo taongea sana wewe unai kuuza mandazi mandazi eh hajawahi kuuza mandazi unai kuuza nini ice cream ice cream nguo haya sasa ice cream ya nini za buu ubuyu uliku natengeneza ah sasa twende nataka niwasaidie hapo hii haya mambo ya costing wewe usitakiwe ucream so far you need to understand huyu alikuwa anauza ice cream za ubuyu Ulikuwa unapata wapi ubuyu? Na unaona sokoni, si ndio? Sasa Aruna explain. Ulikuwa unatengeneza kwenye nini? Yaani hizo ice cream unatengeneza nini? Eh? Eh, hey, unatengenezea nini? Ni kitu gani kilicho kinatengeneza nini? Ulikuwa na mashine? Ulikuwa na mixer? Ulikuwa unatumia nini? Vyombo sasa twende kwenye swali lake nataka wa want to make it. Kwa hiyo huyu alikuwa na sehemu ana process. This is a process. Ana process ice cream. Menisikia mpaka hapo? Ana process nini? Ice cream. Wateja wako walikuwa wapi? Ni mjini. Sasa mimi nitaka kuandaa modo yake manake she was selling somewhere this is a place market mekasa wa lakini ubuyu kuna chukua wapi sokoni so supplier of raw materials hawa ni suppliers of raw materials then hawa nani market these are customers mekasa wa sasa ubuyu anapounua kutoka sokoni kuja kwenye ofisi yake lazima ana sehemu ambapo anatunza stock ya ubuyu stock ya nini ubuyu hii inaitwa raw materials kwa hiyo kwenye ubuyu ulikuwa unatengenezea nini kwa raw materials ilikuwa ni kitu gani kumdani kuna sugar kuna ubuyu mhm mm kuna water mhm mm eh basi sasa anaenda kwenye kuchakata nika vizuri hii inaitwa process hapa kitaalamu tunapoita whip that is production uzalishaji kwa lazima anaweza kununua sukari 
nyingi lakini hata tumia yote kwa naanza kuifidi kwenye leo natengeneza ubuyu packet labda 20 kwa kuna sukari tabaki na maji tabaki umeka vizuri baada ya kutengeneza sasa vile vitu vinakuwa vimekamilika anaviingiza kwa ajili ya kwenda kuuza kwa kuna chumba ambacho anatunza vitu vilivyo kamilika hii inaitwa finish goods nimeleka kwa hiyo ili kitu kiende kwenye finish goods usiju kapeleka kitu ambacho hakijakamilika maana kitamkera mteja si ndio kwa hii inaitwa production you see this is production so tunahitaji hizi completed goods au production this is production sasa anapoenda kuuza naona this is sales nimeleka hapo this is sales so we have production and we have sales menisikia mbaka hapo so we have cost of production of all goods we have cost of production of all goods So remember I repeat again we are purchasing raw materials here and here you are issuing material production and there is cost of production as you can see it and also there is sales do you see so the cost of production is the cost for you to produce goods selling is how much are you sending goods to the customer the difference is income effect so income effect is the difference between sales revenue and the cost of production so this is the income effect this is the income effect nimeleka kwa mpaka kwa income effect ni sales revenue Maana what? cost of production. Nimeleka mpaka. Sasa let's move forward. Let's move forward so far. Sasa issue inakuja. What are the cost of production? How do we get the cost of production? Naanza kitu nini? Cost of production Galama za kutengeneza kitu. Mhm. Dada hapa tunakwenda kwa dada hapa. Unapo tuliaza na materials. So you have direct materials. You should have direct materials. Kuna indirect material na direct materials. Inaweza vizuri. So I'm talking about direct materials. So materials is a component of cost of production. Kingine kinachofuata tuna direct labor. Sasa pale unaweza kuwa na kabinti anakusaidia kufanya kazi au mabinti wawili au we mwenyewe. Sasa labor wanaotengeneza zile juisi. Labor cost must be there. Na unaweza kumlipa kwa siku labda shilingi 10000 anapotengeneza na kupack anatengeneza na kupack na hapa shilingi kumi kwa siku namba 3 kuna variable cost tunaita production variable cost eh ndio nini production variable cost number 4 and the last one is production fixed cost sasa lazima ujue what is material ni components ambazo zinatumika kutengeneza products what is direct labor somebody who is operating the machines the equipment the plants etc what is production variable cost 
Kwa mfano kama tume mixa Uchakata ile Ile juice ice cream Manake utaitaji kuwa na umeme Umeme unasabisha Mixa itembe Kama unatumia jiko La gesi Manake ile gesi ambayo unatakia uweke Ili jiko Ili work inaito production Variable cost Nezikana ni jiko la muka Manake ule muka Zile kuni Zinaitua production Variable cost Jiko la mafuta Mafuta ndiyo production variable cost. Sasa fix cost ni nini? Nile jiko lenyewe sasa. Mitambo. Ambayo inahusika ili weze kuzalisha. So the total cost inaka hivi. Nimeleka mpaka po. Sasa. Tunakuja stage na ufat. Na muliza dada pa. Ulikuna uza shinga pia script. Shingimia. Haya. Galama ya kutengeneze ice cream moja. Ulikuna tengeneza kwa shinga. Ya? Yeah? Hey, kwa sabu wawu ulikuna za shingimia. Samina kulizo na ulikuna pata faida. Ya? Yeah? Ulijuje kwa kuna faida. Sasa niambiga galama ya Meza ice cream moja. Eh? Yeah? Eh, lazima kuwe na sababu. Sasa haya, ndio mwata kuta watu wakinama wengi wanaingia asawa. Hapa sasa, ndio kuna kitu kinaitua standard cost card. Teheza vizu sana hapa. What is a standard cost card? Haya, tulieni hapa, na hapa vitu ambao viko sensitive. Ukitaka kufunga, fanya shiri ya rusi hapa. Tasikia kuna keo cha budget. Hapa dodo machakula natikiza shinga. Wewe ya. Yani chakula cha rusi, shinga api. Hapa dodo ma. Cha mtu moje. Ehe, unaona. Hii anayotaja hiyo kuna kumna tano, kuna shirini. Hiyo naituwa standard cost. Yani kabla uja, ujanza kutengeza kitu lazi uwe na standards. Kwamba chakula wana shingefukumi. Manake uwezi kutoka. Nduwa galama alisi. Tasa standard cost huwa inabitu vitatu. Cha kwanza inakuwa na element of cost. Mule kwenye chakula kimoja, wana kupigia nini? Kwa kisikia element of cost, watakuweke ya pale. Moja, utaambia, utuna garama ya material. Numana kusema kichakwa chishingefukumi, wanaangalia material, nezeka ni kuku wa singida. Kuku wa kenyeja, ho. Kuna, kuna mchele, kuna maswala ya unga, kuna maswala ya ndizi. Kwa takuambia, unataka material ziweje mule ndani. Chapili, wanapigia bei labor. Kwa sabu anaye kuandalia kile chakula, anavijana wake. Cha tatu, anangalia variable cost. Variable overhead. Yani kama ni jiku la mkali takuja, anajua mkau utatumika. Kama ni gesi, saizi kuna isikuka, atangalia. Cha nne na cha mwisho, no fix cost. Yani aratumima jiku gani. Kuja kudrive, kuleta chakula pale na kadharika. That is an element of cost. Fakta ya P. Na fundisha hapa mwusikiwa makini sana. Haya maswele wanauliza, lakini ya me jificha. Fakta ya P. Atangaya kituta input cost. Sema input cost. Yes. Input cost. What is input cost? This is the price of materials. Sorry. This is a price of material labor and overhead ili akupe bei kwamba hapa ni shingefukumi 
anaangalia bei ya nyama sasa hivi sokoni kiasi gani. Ikipanda tu kuna shida. Kama saizi sukari imepanda. Manake vyakula vyote ambavyo vinatumia sukari vitafanya aja? Kwa hiyo price of material net input cost. Umenisikia? Price of labor wale vijana wanao kufanya kazi wanakuhitaji shilingi ngapi? Kwa afu kama wanakuhitaji shilingi 2000 kwa siku kesho wanakuja shilingi 5000 manake lazima input cost ibadilike uweke vizuri. Cha mwisho ambacho ni cha msingi kuna kitu kinaitwa usage rate. Sema usage rate. Yes. Lazima ujue sana the cost card ina kitu kinaitwa usage rate. Sasa what is usage rate? Habu acha kwanza kuandika. Kwa mfano, ulishaenda kwenye chakula cha harusi, sasa hivi wanafunga, wanafungaje? Wanatoaje chakula? Wanapokuwa kwenye sahani au wanafunga kabisa? Zamani mnapanga foli, eh? Alafu alikuwa kumta ana anapakua anakuweka kwenye kwenye sinia kubwa ile. Sasa hivi unafanyaje? Na mimi sijauzwa sijauzwa siku nyingi. Wanafungia kwenye paketi au unajipakulia mwenyewe unafanyaje? Wewe umeenda kwenye harusi huko? Mm. Eh. Yeah. Yaani unajua msipo kuwa mnafahamu. Kwa mfano kinachofanyika ni nisikize kwa makini. Yule kuku wa Singida anakatwa vipande vinne. Sawa. Alafu anamuuliza kwenye sini ya pale. Sasa kwenye issue ya foreign unapita unabeba kimoja. Ukibeba viwili wanakuangalia. Sawa. So, sasa usage rate is a consumption of material into one plate. Kwa hiyo utakuta sasa kuku kama ni chakula cha wakwe. Unakuta hiyo chakula cha wakwe hakijakatwa vipande. Anapewa kuku mzima pale. Manake usage rate ya material ni kubwa kuliko ya ya kawaida. Alafu kende kwenye harusi utakuta chakula cha wanaume kinakuwa ni kingi. Manake kinachokaa kwenye sahani moja. Sasa usage rate is the value is an amount of material to one unit of product is amount of labor to one unit of products so usage ni kwa aina mbili we have usage rate of material usage rate of material and usage rate of reba Hana wafanulia mtakuja kuyakuta kule mbele alafu naanza kushangaa kwamba ala sasa hapa tumemaliza eh phase ya mwisho ambayo sasa ni computation inaitwa output cost sasa hii ni formula tu ambayo unatakiwa kuijua kwenye sadi cost card ambayo iko define as kwa unasema output cost ni sawa sawa na nini usage rate times what input cost nimeleka hapo sasa ndio tu tufanye kitu kimoja hapa example Sasa, these are technical questions. For example, he is telling us kwamba the following has been extracted from KDM Limited that. Sasa, maswali wanakaa hivi. Kwa cha kwanza unapewa information ambazo ni budget. Kwa naanza budgeted that. Budget that cha kwanza wanasema production. Kwa production wanasema je, kwa fundu hapa anajua anataka kuandaa ice cream. 
je umepanga kuzalisha ice cream ngapi swala msingi labda sium ni 1000 sema 1000 swali lazima itaje sasa kwenye ice cream 1000 wewe unajua kwamba hapa ninaenda kuchukua kilo ngapi za buyu sukari na maji si ndio kwa kutakuwa na budget di material direct materials la sandra matiobda amechukua kilo ngapi 20 menisikia kilo 20 hiyo nini material very very important mimi na nafanya tu hiyo ili uweze kujua so kilo 20 unakuja budget ya nini tunasema ya material budgeted material cost unakuta huyu ame amejitengia budget ya material milioni nane au milioni kumi fanye milioni nane then asipofanya sanaisha kienyeji bajeti di labor ye umelenga kuwalipa labor kiasi gani tumesema labda umepajeti kiasi cha 1500 so ni milioni 5 hao ni labor then bajeted variable cost labda hii hapa variable cost ka budget milioni 4 muone cho kitu eh then budgeted fixed cost then labda me budget fixed cost milioni 15 Kuna nini kibaki kwa element of cost? Material tunayo. Labor tunayo. Bado masaa. Je, umepanga kufanya masaa mangapi? Budgeted hours. Labda sium ame budget masaa 5000. 5000 hours. Sasa ukipewa hiyo vitu sasa tunataka ku extract how a standard cost cut is sasa required required prepare a standard cost cut required prepare a what standard oskali anda ile kadi sasa hapa ni kitu cha kunisikiliza kwa makini sana hii swali inatoka sana sasa hivi watu wengi wanashindwa lakini dogo sana uwe na akili fulani sasa sisi tutaandaa solution very simple we should prepare the solution kwa tunasema dada hapa anazalisha nini anazalisha products naweka hapa Naweka sorry So products are coming here ambao ndio juice So we need to budget for one juice Now in a batch he is aiming to prepare how many juice in total f kumi units Hizi ndio nalenga Menisikia hapa hapa Sasa kinachoingia ili zizalishwe juice hizi lazima afanye estimate ya matiri. Kwa hapa kuna nini? Matiri. Eh? Mekabzo. Then kuna nini? Eh? Labor. Then kuna nini? Hmm? Production value. 
kasa production variable then kuna nini production fix cost lazima uanze hivi sasa mimi nawafundisha a very summarized issue ili siwasumbue kwa kitu cha kwanza una list hizo cost una list hizo cost utaanza material unakuja leba unakuja nini variable unakuja nini fix cost kwenda kule utakuwa na cha kwanza huwa ni usage cha pili ni input cost cha tatu ni output cost sasa wale wataalamu naongeza kitu kimoja ambacho sitakijiadili hapa tunaita marginal and then absorption so this is marginal na hapa absorption haya haya sasa unaona hii column hii ya output cost unaweza kwanza na hii tunategemea kuzalisha shilingi ngapi units 10000 si ndio umenisikia units hebu angalia cost ya matio ni kiasi gani cost ya matilio matilio cost ni 8000 si ndio ni milioni nane si ndio cost ya labor milioni tano cost ya variable cost ni milioni 4 cost ya fixed cost ni ngapi 15 ha twende sasa hapa njo hapa twende kwenye matio cost yuni ngapi milioni nane. si ndio gawanya kwa ya 10000 napata gani gawanya na wewe hapo wewe yani hapo usiniangalie hapa sasa hivi so this is the ds ningapo umepata umepata 800 haya umepata 800 hapo haya nenda kwenye labor cost labor cost ni ngapi haya gawanya kwa 10000 napata ngapi ni atano. Unaona voika mimi hapo? Haya, tunakwenda kwenye variable cost. Variable cost ni ngapi? Gawanya kwa 10000. Eh? Nyane. Haya. Nenda kwenye fixed cost. Eh? fixed cost ni 15 si ndio haya hizo fixed cost gawanya kwa 10000 1500 tumemaliza hapo sasa hapa unaweza kuangalia marginal cost ni hizi hapa angalia this is marginal cost yani marginal cost ni cost zote isipokuwa fixed cost so you just take them and the post So marginal cost itakuwa 800 itakuwa 500 itakuwa 400 fixed cost amna jumla yake ni ngapi hapa Sasa hapa ana eh 1700 hapa ndio wanapenda wanafunzi wa shiriki haya kwenye absorption costing neno absorption maana include fixed cost above marginal So utakuwa na 800 utakuwa na 500 utakuwa na 400 utakuwa na 1000 moja mia ngapi 500 jumla ni ngapi <coughs> 
2000 so this is marginal na absorption unaboipata 3200 sasa what is usage sikuna usage pale twende kwa usage usage manake nini nenda kwenye quantity of material ilikuwa ni ngapi 20 au 20 si ndio kwa hiyo unasemaje sasa unapata ngapi <coughs> gawanya sasa mm unapata mbili. So hii inaandikwa hivi 2 kg pound. Maana kila saa ni moja itakaa kilo mbili. Twende kwenye masaa. Masaa yako mangapi? Masaa 5. Gawanya kwa 10,000. Unapata ngapi? Ne? Yeah? 0.5. Zero point tano. Kwa 0.5 hawa pa unit. Kwa hiyo utaiweka sehemu yote hiyo. 0.5. Na hapa 0.5 hours pa unit. Sasa this is output. Mnakumbuka input cost times usage unapata output, si ndio? Haya, unaweza kupata hizi namba hizi. Eh? Usage rate multiply by, by input cost you get output cost. Manake nini sasa hapa? Unagawanya, hafanya haraka sasa. Nipe ya kwanza. Ya kwanza ni ngapi? Kuna mwendi. Unajua usiponipa majibu? Eh sema, yani ukinyamaza kimya maana huwezi kuelewa. Ya kwanza 400. Inafuata. Yani ukinyamaza kimya utapata akili. Ngapi? F1 inafuata Yanana inafuata F3 Hii ndio inaitwa standard cost cut na you can find out the marginal and absorption So kazi kubwa kwenye income effect ya kwanza ni kutafuta nini standard cost cut Lazima ujue Na ni very simple kujua Sikuona mpaka hapo sasa hizi kutapewa vitu una solve. Sasa kwenye maswali yenu yeye nimewekea nyingi sasa ni cost cut kwamba muweze kujua how does we get in here. Ukipata za the cost cut that's where unakuwa na nini? Na marginal na absorption. Sasa students wanakuwa hawapitiki kiposhon. You can't get anywhere without having a study cost cut. Nimeleka mpaka hapo. So I will show you something kuna exercise tutaiona how to get in preparing study cost card very simple Aya. sasa kinachofuata kinachofuata kuna kitu kinaitwa movement of stock tamka hivi movement of stock movement of stock kila swali ambalo we utapewa kila swali ambalo utapewa litakupa haya yajayo nayo kuambia nini this movement of stock is very important kwanza number one, kuna period of increasing stock ya pili kuna period of 
constant stock. Number mbili, kuna period of decreasing stock. Sasa, nikisema hivi, naweza kusema alafu kaonekana pia haituhusu. Lakini sasa ngoja kufanua ili ionekane inawahusu. Haya. Rudi kwa mtu wetu wa ice cream, si ndio? Umesema unauza wapi ice cream? Mjini. Unauza mjini. Si ndio? Kwa mfano unapoenda kuuza ice cream. Ili kuna tengeneza ice cream pisi ngapi kwa siku? Nataka tu unapotengeneza kuna zaisha kiasi gani? Unataka 20. Unataka 20. 20 mpaka 50. Chukulia umetengeneza pisi ya 50 ice cream kwa siku. Huwa unauza zote? Kwa nini uuzi zote? Inategemea nini? Soko. Safi sana. Hiyo ndio pointa katujui. Kwa mtu yote anayetengeneza vitu huwa mara nyingi ni ngumu sana kwamba ameuza vyote. Kwa kuna wakati anaweza kuuza kuna wakati atengeneza 20, wote wanataka 30. Maanake inakuwa Sasa hapa ndo nataka tuweke sawa. Status ya kwanza imesema period of increasing stock. So tunaza ya kwanza. Period of what? Increasing stock. I want to explain status ambayo dada alikuwa anafanya kwenye screen pale. Uh, yes. Kwa number 1 period of increasing what? Stock. Hapa manake stock ina increase. Sasa I will explain. Kwa mfano tutaangalia hapa kwamba uzalishaji wa dada ndio huu hapa this is a production this is finished good kwa huku anazalisha ice cream zinakuja kwenye finished good huku anaenda kufanyaje kuuza so this is production and this is sales so simple we have p and s sasa dada kwa mfano zikibaki ice cream ulikuwa unapeleka wapi? Unazingiza kwenye stock. Sasa angalia na kuwekea unayoniambia hapa hapo. This is a stock. Ndio anasema movement of stock pale kwenye fridge. Production ni P sales ni S Nimekaa sawa Sasa wanasema kwa mfano if opening stock hapa opening stock ya jana kwenye fridge ilikuwa labda unit C F3 Umesikia mpaka hapo Sasa hivi amezalisha unit C F15 Lakini kwa bahati mbaya ameuza unit ngapi F8 Nini kinatokea? Eh? Zinabaki. Zikibaki anapeleka wapi? Stop. Sasa ngana kufahamu ni kitaalamu sasa. So I'm taking those remained into stop. How many? Mia saba. Nataka mshiriki hapa ni mia saba? No. Wewe kijana tumia calculator. Sio mchezo. F7. Sawa. Sasa zikiingia F7 stop. Maana yake closing itakuwa ngapi hapo? Tunafunga. Zinakuwa ngapi? F10. Ina maana zimeongezeka ngapi? Eh? ndio maana inaitwa period of increasing stock. Inaitwa nini? 
period of increasing stock sasa hapa tunaita naandika sasa hapa kwa kibalance hapa this is 10000 and this is 10000 units we have added this amount sasa nataka kila ukisoma swali angalia production and sales once you watch that one look on closing stock and opening stock ukipewa sort of margin of option those are the key issues Mesikia mpaka hapo so there is a problem with my laptop it's now getting it's down Okay, good. So I've covered it. So listen carefully and those are the techniques. So when I say this is a period of increasing stock, now I write period of what? Increasing stock. That means what are the features? Key issues. Number one, wana sema production is greater than sales. Production is greater than what? Sales. Number two, closing stock is greater than what? opening stop number three. there is tunasema stocks are moving stocks are moving from where from production to where warehousing from production to where storage. Yaani unasoa stock kutoka kwenye uzalishaji umeshindwa kuziuza. Unazipeleka storage. Sasa change ni profit number 4. Change in what? Profit. Yaani change profit ni nini? Is equal to is is equal to where? change in stock multiplied by fixed absorption rate mesikia bakap number 5 which the best number 5 tunasema tunasema hapa ndo kwenye key issues tulia tunasema tunasema absorption profit is greater than marginal profit those are the key issues kwa hiyo watakuuliza kitu alafu taanza kuyumba. Hiyo imekaa vizuri. Ni hii hapa ya period of increasing stock. Manake unatengeneza vitu vingi, unauza kidogo. Kwa yule ambaye anaandaa hesabu. Manake anakuwa amegalimia vitu kutengeneza lakini hakuuza. Nisikie paka Manake faida yake itakuwa ni kidogo kwa sababu hajauza kuna vitu vinauziana kwenye stock. Haya. Sasa tunakuja case namba ngapi? Namba mbili. The opposite one. The period of decreasing stock. Period period of decreasing Yaani hii sasa 
ni kijume cha pale juu dada ametengeneza kidogo lakini kule sokoni wanahitaji sana sasa i will explain how does this work Ni mwana utakia huwa na strategy nzuri sana ya marketing. So this is production P and this is sales S. That's very simple. But in stock kwenye fridge pale. Kule kwenye fridge. Dada ana opening stock ya F10 za jana. Menisikia baka po? Sasa safari hii amefanya ametengeneza yun C 12 si ndio wale wateja wanataka yun C ngapi 12 unafikiri atafanya nini anakwenda za mwaka jana <laughs> za jana zile anakwenda anakimbia anazibeba atauza maandazi ya jana sasa uwe makini kwenye maandazi unaweza kuanza kuharisha so i'm planning this so the movement of stock that would mean a business is now taking goods from previous production so this is how it works do you see how much anachukua ngapi wala msema anachukua ngapi F3 direction imebadilika Akichukua F3 tukaanza kubalance hapa tunaanza tufunga hapa Si hapa ni F10 Na hapa ni ngapi uh, Akichukua F3 tunabaki ngapi Sabaki Sabaki F7 Kwa closing ni ngapi F7. So we see drawn. Ngapi? F3. Easy ame withdraw kule kwenye store. Amechukua store. Sa, so kuna credit and debit. So this point utakuwa na F10 na hapa unakuwa na F10. Umenisikia mpaka? Kwa hiyo sasa what are we doing? This is finished good. Kumanake stock in a decrease. Stock inafanya in a decrease from 10,000 to how many? Do you see this decrease of stock? Do you see? Ulikuwa na 10,000 za baki ngapi? 10,000. Kwa hiyo kipewa swali kujua kwamba is this increasing or decreasing? Angalia closing stock, angalia production and sales. So hapa kuna semaje key issues What are you saying Number one, production is less than what sales This is number one. Number two, tusemaje Yes closing stock is less than opening stock number 3 number 3 nasemaje ame withdraw there is a withdraw of goods from the store. Si ndio? Kwa hiyo from the store unachukua vitu kule. Number 4 nakumbuka hapa unasema marginal profit is greater. Kinyume cha pale. Marginal profit is greater than what? than absorption. Na hata ile ongeza kusema profit difference multiplier haina shida hiyo. 
for the profit difference is change in stock applied by fixed absorption rate very simple we have done it isn't it period of constant stock umetengeneza f10 umeuza f10 this one is very simple so we have production and we have what sales you produce and sell the same so if this 10000 also do you have any movement of stock no so if opening stock if opening is 3000 then even closing is how much the same so no stock movement that is very important no stock movement so you write number one no stock movement number two no change in profit number three we are saying marginal profit equals absorption profit e concept chaijua mamalisi baada hapo sasa natoa ya mwisho Natuwa nini? Ya yeah. mwisho. Inaitua under and over. Tamuka hivi. Good news. Under. Vesa V. Over. Absorption. Lazima ujue neno under na over. Sasa, kwanza lazima, what is absorbed cost? Sema absorbed cost. Hmm. Absorbed cost. Inaitua actual production times fixed absorption rate. Hiyo ni absorbed cost. So absorbed cost is a cost estimate. So absorbed cost is a cost what? Estimate. Ile kwa mfano wewe tunakutuma Dar es Salaam. Si ndio? Hivi tutajua unatumia shingapi? Nasema tujui, si ndio? Kwa nasema mtu yote anaenda nje ya mkoa atalipwa kwa reti ya laki moja. Sawa? Wewe unalipwa alafu unafika kule, unakuta gharama mafuta imepanda, gharama imepanda, unapata act production. Kwa hiyo absorbed cost ni estimment za gharama ambazo wewe unazichukua kabla ya kwanza uzalishaji. Alafu sasa neno over or under unakuna compare kati ya actual cost and the cost estimate. Sasa the so-called balances. Sema balances. Ni sawa na nini? Estimate minus actual. Ambo neno estimate ndo absorb. That is absorbed minus here. Sasa kuna aina tatu. Taweka hapo. 
Utaweka kesi tatu utaziona. Haya. Kwa mfano naanza na kesi ya kwanza. Ha, taiweka hivi. This is case 1. Uh -huh. In case 1, this is absorbed. How? Estimate. Na hapa ni actual. Ya ni garama harisi. So in case 1, kuna estimate, then kuna nini? Kuna act cost. Kwa fao kama tule estimate kutumia milioni sita. Galama galisi zikaja milioni tano kamili. Hii ni kesi ya kwanza. Kwende kesi ya pili. Kesi ya pili. Hii hapa. So this is case two. We have actual and then to na absorbed. Neno absorbed and the canini estimates. So we estimated ten million, but we have used fifteen million. That is case number number two. The last case ni case number ngapi? Number three. Case three. To me estimate ngapi? Kwenye hapa, we have estimate or absorbed estimate to estimate million in there million in there actual results sasa nataka niwaulize tunaza na ya kwanza we boss kakutuma kazini akakukadiria ukatumie milioni 6 unaona milioni 6 lakini wewe umeenda kutumia milioni ngapi Yoni tan. Sindio? Manake, what happened? Eh? Ali over is made. Make actually. So this is over estimate. I want to over absorption. I tarifa nizuri kwake. Eh? Ni nzuri. Kwa nini? Kwa nini nzuri? Hapa kuna cost decrease. Kuna nini? Decrease in cost of sales. This is good news. Kitaalam tunasema favorable. Menisikia? This is good news. By how much? 1M. So you put 1M. F. Kwe kiandi kwa F manake tarifa ni nzuri. Hapa kuna decrease in cost. Yani ume cut down cost. Therefore profit is going up. So in business, this is good. Numana manager, director of finance, chief accountant, Lazima akikishe galama za matumiza fanya je, zinapungua kwa reasonable ground without affecting the quality of output products. Kwa fono so kuna binti wakasi, anapika, anakona, nani, ananda nini, ice cream. Sasa onesebua, natengiza ice cream ngapi, amsini, sinio, kwa sabu anajati kwenye simu, unatumia siku tatu. Na wewe kila siku unalipa 1000. Sasa unakasirika unaambia hebu nipe simu na mnyang'anyi. 
anaanza kupiga kazi zile askima tukotengeneza kwa siku tatu akatia kwa siku moja maana kunapunguza nini gharama ndio maana serikali kuna uzembe kuna udhaifu kuna weakness kwa matumizi yanakuwa makubwa activity moja inafanya kwa muda mrefu kwa ina gharama ya nyingi sasa unapotizama hii kwenye reconciliation unakuwa unaangalia what was a budget estimate and what is actual cost if there is a decrease in cost yule mtu anapongezwa sawa sasa angalia pili ule estimate milioni 10 ukatumia ngapi milioni ngapi 15 there is an increase in cost cha kwanza there is an increase in cost this is bad news so this is what we call adverse the amount you are saying 500 million is adverse hapa unasababisha faida kuondoka so these are the comments on the over and the under so this is under absorption under estimate or under absorption this is the way or under estimate imeleka mpaka hapo so from there let's see case number 3 you have an estimate of 4 million and the accusers is 4 million what happened no variances manake huyu ali estimate vizuri no variances no variances no adjustment imeleka mpaka hapo kwa sasa having said this actually what i'm saying now is you to go and read the two components we have spent almost one hour and 10 minutes ukienda kusikiliza hii ukamaliza manake topic ya maji na absorption haitakusumbua popote kwa sababu wanakuuliza status yake kwanza utakuja kuulizwa stand cost card utakuja kuuliza whether there is under or over ha ha hii ni samyati ndio inawasababisha watu waanze kukimbia spa lakini having said this actually i'm expecting kwamba nyinyi utakuwa mashahidi